sensei once consoled a grief-stricken boy as his older brother prepared to leave for battle. He said, Child, why do you cry? You are both part of a family, and a family is a bond that cannot be broken by war, by strife, by force, or neglect. And more importantly, you are brothers, and brothers you shall remain, despite time, argument, and even distance. Now I mentioned in the introduction that the first book was actually very different. I'm going to show an image of it here real quick. It was published by Mirage Studios in uh, May of 1984 in Dover, New Hampshire. And uh, it's far different than the current Age Turtles. The Turtles are actually toned down quite a bit for um, a younger audience so they catch on more and become more popular. Um, but the original Turtles were far grittier, more violent, and uh, it wasn't an accident, actually, because um, at first the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were actually intended just a parody for of the most popular comic books of the early 1980s. Um, mid 80s, I'd say more early 80s. Um, and that was Marvel's Daredevil and New Mutants, uh, Dave Sims' Cerebus, and Frank Miller's Ronin, if I remember correctly. And those were the big powerhouse. That was the the, the square of power, the Four Horsemen, if you will. It was just you know those were the comic books to beat, and. Um, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, who are the creators of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, actually knew this and decided that they wanted to come up with something to parody the uh, <laughs> the the four juggernauts of the industry at the time, and that's how the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles actually came to exist. They self-published their first ever uh, comic, which was black and white and um, very gritty, very dark-edged. And uh, they did that with a tax refund, actually. And the first book that was actually published by Mirage uh, was limited to 3,000 copies. And actually, when I was growing up, I remember my friend brought it into school. He actually had one. And uh, I went over to his house one time, and he had the book under his bed, and it wasn't, you know, protected or anything. We were kids, so it wasn't like, you know, a big collector thing. It was just like, oh, this is cool, you know, look what I've got. i got a comic book, and I'm going to read it, and we're going to, you know, we're going to rattle the book to hell. And uh, I remember I asked him if I could borrow it. I'm going to have to go higher if I want to find the temple. Yeah, you are. I remember I asked him if I could borrow it, and he's like, yeah, man, it'd be cool, you can borrow it, you know, and I took it home, and it ended up in my closet, and I kind of accidentally never gave it back to him, I still have it to this day, um, it's not in mint condition, it's, it's in used condition, uh, doesn't have any tears, doesn't have any smudges or anything like that, it's just, you know, you could tell it's been red, um, the bind is a little bit worn, and, it's a really, really cool book. I don't, I don't look at it anymore. It sits in the closet, well protected. It's got a backing board on it, and uh, it's heavily protected now. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it to my son one day, or you know, when you jump if the price is right, maybe I'll sell it. I don't know. It's just a memory from my childhood, and uh, I held on to it all these years just because you know, not that it was like one of three thousand. Or anything like that. It's just I held on to it because yeah, let's get kick some ass here. Yeah. I just held on to it because you know the turtles were a big part of my childhood. Like I said, and um, I mean I could identify with them instantaneously just because you know it was always a New York based comic book it was always a New York based team of, of uh, renegade superheroes if you will um, they were based in Manhattan actually and actually um, I was born very close to where uh, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird first created the Turtles which was uh, Dover New Hampshire I was born in Claremont New Hampshire so it was like kind of a karma weird weird thing really 
So we're just running Leonardo up here to the temple. I'm not really a Leonardo man. I think everybody who is a Turtles fan or grew up with the Turtles or uh, a new fan of the Turtles has, you know, one of the four that they identify with the most or that they enjoy the most. And mine's Raphael. Um, always has been, always will be. I love his attitude, his grittiness. He was the one that remained the most close to the original concept of the Turtles, in my opinion. And it was just, I, I love Raphael. I'm not much of a, a Leonardo yeah. fan at all. So I really don't like that I have to play him right here, but whatever. I don't know if this game will allow me to be whichever turtle I want at any given time after these introductions or not. I hope so, because I really don't want to... I'm not really... I'm a, Don I'm a Donatello fan, but um, I don't necessarily like his fighting style. <laughs> I always found him kind of weak. And Michelangelo, I like the original Michelangelo, um, but the newer based cartoony Michelangelo I'm not too fond of. So, what else can we talk about? Uh, if anybody's interested, the first book, I don't know if I mentioned this yeah. before, but it was 1984. Yeah, I did mention it. Um, so, they were kind of, you know, it took a while for them to catch on. Um, it took three attempts, actually, to get the TV series off the ground. And uh, that didn't happen, I think, until 1986. No, it was... No, 1987. It was 1987 the TV series yeah. um, came about. And then it was followed by action figures because um, toy companies really wanted to get into action figure lines at that time. You know, they wanted to tie in product to the, their popular shows and everything. So, you know, action figures were a big necessity back in the day. It wasn't all, you know, we didn't have computers and we didn't have, you know. Yeah. I mean, you got to consider... The Turtles came out before the Nintendo Entertainment System hit the States. Because the Nintendo Entertainment System hit the States there in 1986. Is. Wow. Splinter wasn't kidding. So, I mean, we didn't really have much. You know, we had Ataris and ColecoVisions and shit, but... I mean, come on. And once ten guys are eliminated, we can use that but, to yeah, 1987, the TV series damage, well, caught on, was popular. And then, uh, of course, followed by action figures. And actually, like I mentioned, the Nintendo Entertainment yeah. System came out in 1986. And in 1989, the Turtles had their first game. And actually, the original distributor publisher of the Turtles games was this Konami. Whoa. And uh, Konami some did some good again. stuff. But I think we're going to end that off here. Pick it up on the next chapter. Next time, got pretty decent ranks. I think A plus is high as you can go. I'm not really sure. If so, I got double A plus. Go me. And five gold turtle shells. And I unlocked the challenge map. Cool. Catch you guys next time. Hope you liked. Favorite, subscribe. And peace.